Waffle my iron. I'm a big waffle. You're a big waffle. Today, we're going to be reviewing Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Rodimus Minor. Now, it's time to get straight on into the review. Now, before we get into the figure, here's what his packaging looks like. He has a Toys R exclusive sticker on the front. Autobot Rodimus Minor, two firing missiles, Autobot Deluxe Class. On the back, we have a bio, if you would like to read it. Rodimus Minor, Autobot Cal... Actions speak louder than words, I'm assuming that's what they said. Galactic powers and abilities. Uh, yeah, Karma. Then we got RC, Autobot Ratchet, and Toxin Oil Slick. They never came out with him, he was a, one of the cancelled animated Transformers that was going to be coming out as wave no as season four was going to begin before it was canceled now that is about it for the packaging so let's get into the figure himself so here is the figure himself animated rodimus minor now what i gotta say about this figure is man is the sculpt uh, is the sculpting and painting amazing on this thing now i love the golden trim on his chest the Autobot symbol, they actually picked it out with red and white. Normally with the Autobots, they put the, the logo in silver, and with the Decepticons, they put them in gold. And if you see my Blitzwing review, you understand what I'm talking about. Or if you want any Transformers animated figures for yourself, then you understand what I'm talking about. Now, before we get into the initial figure himself, we are going to get into his weapon slash gimmick. Now, he comes with a bow and arrow, which can fire two missiles. Like so, if you press on this button right here, right there, shoot that, and let's shoot him at him. Boom. Does shoot pretty far. I do like it. The, a little bit from behind my phone, which I'm recording with, and that did go pretty far. Now, you want to make sure you're putting these in right, because sometimes these don't go in the right, and you don't want to wreck the uh, spring. So you see this hollow bit, you want to make sure that's completely on the bottom of the arrow like so. Same thing with the other side. Boom! There you guys, bow and arrow. So yeah, pretty cool, bow and arrow. I do like it myself. Now, let's get into the figure. Figure has a nice face sculpt. I really do like this. It looks really amazing. And uh, it's just a really good figure. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this he has pupils with his light piping, like an uh, anime swindle. There, you can see a glimpse of it right there. So, yeah, a little bit of a paint scratch, but that's not the seller's fault. It's just uh, how he's made. Same thing with the Autobot logo. It's a bit, bit crooked, but I don't mind it that much. Gunmetal gray on the shoulders. We got some orange plastic in the forearms. Look at that, boy. Uh, gray plastic for the hand. Orange plastic for the uh, crotch down to the knees. Knees are in this burgundy red. And orange on the feet, which I really do like how the feet are. They look like human boots. Like this guy doesn't have much of a backpack either. Because all hot rods normally have a spoiler of some sort or a Rodimus Prime. Now I'm assuming this is supposed to be a hot rod. Because in Transformers Animated, the Prime rank, it, this is how the rankings work. It was minor, prime, then Magnus. He was a minor, not prime yet. So technically, this should be the anime version of Transformers Hot Rod. And not Transformers Rodimus Prime, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, pretty nice figure. Now for comparison, put him right here. Here he is with Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Barricade. And you can see how the sc scale. But she's supposed to be, Barricade's supposed to be shorter for Studio Series. Here he is with Transformers War for Cybertron Deluxe Class Spinister. Love this Spinister figure. They're about the same height. About. Here he is with Transformers, Titans Return, Voyager Class, Broadside. And Broadside is a little bit taller than them, but they're around the same size. And to end off comparisons, here he is with Transformers, Voyager Class, Studio Series, Long Haul. And you can see the height difference. So yeah, that's about it for comparisons. Now let's get into articulation. Now for articulation, he's, like I said, present. What I mean by that is, uh, let's just get straight now. He has a ball jointed neck. He can uh, do the full 360, basically. He can look up that far thanks to his neck. That is part of transformation, but his neck can pop in and out. Uh, he can even go down for him to look down. 
a uh, little bit of wiggle waggle movement and that's about it for the head now arms full 360 can go out that much he does have a rotation at the elbow because it's a ball joint technically he does have a double jointed elbow due to the uh, nature of the transformation with that hinge and the ball peg so yeah he can basically curl up his arm to his by his shoulder wrists they can swivel because they are on our ball joint and they can do this little bit of a pivoting because of the hinge which is really nice or you can position your arm like this and then you can really so if you give him swords he can you know have decent sword poses he does have a really nice waist rotation, which is very nice. And he does have an ab crunch. I don't know if I haven't transformed him right, but there's a bit of an ab crunch in there. Legs, kick forward that much. Kick back that much. Beautiful split. Look at that thing. Wow. He does have a little bit of uh, a swivel above the knee. But he does have a bit of a thigh swivel. Knees, about 90 degrees. Oh well. I wish it was double jointed, but I'm not complaining because this figure is only a deluxe class. And a ball jointed ankle. An and a ball jointed ankle. Boom. Not that much uh, ankle tilt, but you know, I'll take it. Go that far. Go go down, but that's mostly for transformation. And kick up pretty far. So that's pretty good. Now he can hold his weapon. You want to have the arm rotation rotated like this. Then what you want to do is take his bow. And you just want to try and be careful with it. And just push the bow. If I can. Because his hand's on a ball joint. Right into there. There we go. Now, the only thing I don't like about the bow is he can't have another hand exactly on the thing, and it doesn't have a rope. So he can't really have it as a bow. So, yeah, that's the only downside. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this added accessory slash weapon. Now let's get down to transformation. Now for transformation, what I normally like to do first is I like untabbing his shoulders from his torso, like so. Then, bring his spoiler back. This little thing's gonna go in there. So, bring that back. Untab the back of his windshield, and then bring this whole assembly in there, and then re-tab it in. If you would like, you can rotate the head around, but I don't really care. Like so. Then, what you wanna do is bring up the wheels, like so. And I really do like how the wheels look. Then what you would want to do is make sure the arms are out, bring down the waist assembly, like so. So what you want to do is bring down the feet like so, like that. You want to untab them from here. Now when you're transforming him into robot mode, what you want to do is you want to tab that tab into that port right there like this. But for vehicle mode, you want it like that. Then what you want to do is rotate the waist around. Sorry about that. I had a brain fart. Retard moment. Then bring this down. Then bring the legs down. And basically just get them into place. Untab that. Bring it down like so. Then tab his feet into the ear. And there is a port right there. And there's the peg. Like so. Make sure that's all tabbed down. Then what you want to do with the arms, bring this hinge back. Bring that back all the way. And, well, you should have... Well, before you do that, you want to make sure this is all hinged up and like this. And then... Compress the hand like so. Then what you can do is unhinge this. Bring that over like so. And basically just leave that like that. Then what you want to do is make sure the hand stays up and then tab this into here like so and I There so the one is wants to look flush 
Same thing with the other side, bring that back, turn this around like so, bring that down, take the hand, make sure it's flat, make sure everything's like so, then tab, you want to make sure this leg part is tabbed in to the front chest part, then you want to tab all this together. Oh, before you do that, you want to always want to make sure you put these things up before. And then you can tab the arm onto this. Like so. Now we're not done yet. Unhinge the spoiler, bring this down, and tab that all back in. Like so. Oh, I almost forgot one important part. You want to flip this. What you want to do is you want to flip this around the like so. And then you can peg the feet back in. And everything you just. So here you have Rodimus Finer in his vehicle mode. And man, does this vehicle mode look good. I really do like how this looked. I really like how the wheels are as well. The paint on the hood and everything and the detail is really well done. The head can be a little bit off-putting, but like I said earlier, you can always rotate his head around so you don't have him looking through you through his cockpit. I was just too lazy to do that. Now, the engine was not needed, but is it is a nice touch to his initial vehicle form. I do like this black for the grill. Next to these yellow highlights, headlights, not highlights, sorry. I do wish that this uh, just gray plastic was uh, painted in silver, but that would have been distracting from the face. I really do like this uh, gold spoiler, really looks nice. And these rusters, I'm assuming, or engine, I like how they transition. They look like they're coming from the bottom of the vehicle, com vehicle commode onto the top. That just looks amazing. The only issue I have is there's a big gap right there, and there is his crotch. Right there. If Decepticon came up and boom! Oh, he would feel that for days. Anyways, he does roll pretty well. Pretty nice. Now, there's one thing you can do with this bow. is You see these two pegs right here, these little two notches. Take these two ports here and here, these two, and you just basically want to put those right in there. Oh, careful that you don't fire it on yourself. Make sure you put these in right, like I showed earlier. And it doesn't really tab in all that well um, because of the spoiler, and I don't. So, yeah. It kind of looks dumb anyways, but I appreciate the attempt on vehicle storage, so yeah. That's basically it for his vehicle mode. Now, I will cut back to me, and I will release my initial thoughts of this figure. My initial thoughts on this figure is that he's pretty damn good. He's a recommended must-have for any Transformers animated collection. He's probably one of the best damn articulated animated figures we have gotten in the toy line. Now... He does go for a little bit pricey on eBay, but around 30 bucks, he is worth it. So I do recommend trying to get him mitten box. This has been Waffle My Iron. I hope you help me waffle my iron by putting syrup and butter on that waffle. And what I mean by that, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Hell, even disliking the video makes me show that somebody actually is watching my video. So thank you for tuning in anyways, even if you didn't like it. And I'll see you all in the next video next week. I post two videos each week, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.